In English translations of Buddhist texts, householder denotes a variety of terms. Most broadly, it refers to any layperson, and most narrowly, to a wealthy and prestigious familial patriarch. In contemporary Buddhist communities, householder is often used synonymously with laity, or non-monastics. The Buddhist notion of householder is often contrasted with that of wandering ascetics Pali, Pali, Samana, Sanskrit, Sramana and monastics Bhikkhu and Bhikkhuni, who would not live for extended periods in a normal house and who would pursue freedom from attachments to houses and families. Upasakas and Upasikas, also called Sravakas and Sravikas, are householders and other laypersons who take refuge in the Three Jewels the Buddha, the teachings and the community and practice the Five Precepts. In Southeast Asian communities, lay disciples also give alms to monks on their daily rounds and observe weekly Upasatha days. In Buddhist thought, the cultivation of ethical conduct and dana or almsgiving will themselves refine consciousness to such a level that rebirth in one of the lower heavens is likely even if there is no further noble Buddhist practice connected with the supramundane goal of nibbana unbinding. This level of attainment is viewed as a proper aim for laypersons. In some traditional Buddhist societies, such as in Myanmar and Thailand, people transition between householder and monk and back to householder with regularity and celebration as in the practice of Shinbyu among the Bamar people. One of the evolving features of Buddhism in the West is the increasing dissolution of the traditional distinction between monastics and laity. For all the diversity of Buddhist practices in the West, general trends in the recent transformations of Buddhist practice can be identified. These include an erosion of the distinction between professional and lay Buddhists, a decentralization of doctrinal authority, a diminished role for Buddhist monastics, an increasing spirit of egalitarianism, greater leadership roles for women, greater social activism, and, in many cases, an increasing emphasis on the psychological, as opposed to the purely religious, nature of practice. Topic. Theravada perspectives. In the Pali Canon, householders received diverse advice from the Buddha and his disciples. Core householder practices include undertaking the five precepts and taking refuge in the three jewels. In addition, the canon nurtures the essential bond between householders and monastics still apparent today in Southeast Asian communities. Topic. Who is a householder? In traditional Indian society, a householder Sanskrit grastan is typically a settled adult male with a family. In the Pali Canon, various Pali words have been translated into the English word, householder, including agarika, gahapati, gahatha and gihan. Vocations most often associated with householders in the Pali Canon are those of guild foreman, banker and merchant Pali, Sethi, but other vocations are mentioned such as farmer and carpenter. Gombrich 2002, pp. 56-7 states, Who are these people in terms of class or profession? In the Canon, most of them evidently own land, but they usually have laborers to do the physical work. Sometimes they are also in business. In fact, they illustrate how it is in the first instance wealth derived from agriculture which provides business capital. The average Gahapati who gave material support to the Buddha and his Sangha thus seems to have been something like a gentleman farmer, perhaps with a town house. On the other hand, inscriptions in the Western Deccan, where Buddhism flourished in the early centuries CE, use the term Gahapati to refer to urban merchants. We must distinguish between reference and meaning. The meaning of Gahapati is simple and unvarying, but the reference shifts with the social context. Other people in the canon who are sometimes identified as householders in contemporary translations are simply those individuals who dwelt in a home or who had not renounced home life. Pali, agorasma for homelessness. Pali, anagarya. Topic. Householder ethics While there is no formal householder discipline in the Vinaya or Code of Ethics, the Sigalavada Sutta DN31 has been referred to as the Vinaya of the Householder. Gihi Vinaya. This sutta includes an enumeration of the five precepts, an analysis of good-hearted friends. A description of respectful actions for one's parents, teachers, spouse, friends, workers and religious guides. Similarly, in the Dhammaka Sutta, 
SN 2.14, the Buddha articulates the layman's rule of conduct, Pali, Kahatthavada, as follows The five precepts The eight precepts for Upasatha days Support of one's parents Engaging in fair business, the Mahanama Sutra has been called the locus classicus on the definition of Upasaka. This sutra is preserved in five versions, two in Pali, three in Chinese, representing two different recensions, one in the Samyuktagama, Samyutanakaya, the other in the Anguttaranakaya and in the Samyuktagama and further developed in the Abhidharmaskanda, one of the canonical books of the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma. In this sutra the Buddha defines an upasaka in terms of faith sraddha, morality sila, liberality tyaga, and wisdom prajna, as follows. One produces a deep thought of faith toward the Tathagata and is established in faith. He never lacks faith or is evil toward sramanas, brahmanas, or deva, or mara, or brahma. This is called the faith of an upasaka. Not to kill, not to steal, not to seduce, not to lie, and not to drink liquor, etc. This is called the morality of an upasaka. It is a rule dharma for an upasaka that he should abandon stinginess. As for all living beings, without exception, stinginess, and envy are destroyed by him. Therefore, his mind should be devoid of stinginess and envy, and he should produce thoughts of liberality and personally donate, tirelessly. This is called possessed of liberality. An upasaka knows suffering according to reality, knows the collection of suffering according to reality, knows the extinction of suffering according to reality, and knows the path to the extinction of suffering according to reality. He understands with certainty. This is called possessed of wisdom. Some early schools, particularly the Sautrantika, allowed for aparipurna upasaka, partial lay vow holders, who took anywhere from one to four of the sila observances. Other suttas in the canon likewise underline keeping the precepts, maintaining virtuous friends, homage to one's benefactors, and earning one's wealth honestly. Elsewhere in the Sutta Pitaka, the Buddha provides moral instruction to householders and their family members on how to be good parents, spouses, and children. Buddha's advice to Buddhist laywomen is contained mostly in the Anguttara Nikaya 849, IV 269 71. His advice was as follows, be capable at one's work work with diligence and skill manage domestic help skillfully if relevant and treat them fairly perform household duties efficiently be hospitable to one's husband's parents and friends be faithful to one's husband, protect and invest family earnings discharge responsibilities lovingly and conscientiously, accomplish faith faith in the possibility of enlightenment, and of the enlightenment of the Buddha, accomplish moral discipline observe, practice the five precepts, practice generosity cultivate a mind free from stinginess or avarice, delight in charity, giving and sharing, cultivate wisdom, perceive the impermanence of all things. The Buddha also gave advice on householders' financial matters. In the Anguttara Nikaya 4.61, it is said that the Buddha stated that there are four worthy ways in which to spend one's wealth, on the everyday maintenance of the happiness of oneself and one's family as well as any employees, friends and co-workers, on providing insurance against losses from fire, floods, unloved heirs and misfortune generally, by making offerings to relatives, guests, ancestors offerings to ancestors are traditionally made, in a respectful Halloween-type ritual, throughout Buddhist countries on Ulamba in the eighth lunar month, around October. Food offerings and good deeds are done in order to relieve the sufferings of hungry ghosts and to help rescue one's ancestors from the lower realms, to secure rebirth for them in higher realms. Many people visit cemeteries to make offerings to departed ancestors. The ruler and the devas note that worshipping devas will not bring you closer to enlightenment but it may give you some kind of material advantage, by providing alms to monks and nuns who are devoted to the attainment of nibbana. In the Diga Nikaya 3, the Buddha is said to have advised Sigala, a young man, that he should spend one-fourth of his income on daily expenses, invest half in his business and put aside one-fourth as insurance against an emergency. Topic lay monastic reciprocity Some suttas suggest that Buddhist renunciates are best going it alone. Many others celebrate and provide instruction for a vital reciprocity between householders and monastics. For instance, in the Kudaka Nikaya, the Buddha articulates that Brahmins and householders Pali, support monks by providing monks with robes, alms food, lodgings and medicine while monks teach Brahmins and householders the Dhamma. 
In this sutta, the Buddha declares, householders and the homeless monastics in mutual dependence both reach the true Dhamma, the unsurpassed safety from bondage. Topic Householders and future lives in the Pali Canon, the pursuit of Nibbana SKT, Nirvana within this lifetime usually starts with giving up the householder life. This is due to the householder life's intrinsic attachments to a home, a spouse, children and the associated wealth necessary for maintaining the household. Thus, instead of advising householders to relinquish these and all attachments as a prerequisite for the complete liberation from samsara in this lifetime, the Buddha instructed householders on how to achieve well-being and happiness in this and future lives in a spiritually meaningful way. In Buddhism, a householder's spiritual path is often conceived of in terms of making merit The primary basis for meritorious action in Buddhism are generosity ethical conduct and mental development Traditional Buddhist practices associated with such behaviors are summarized in the table below. Topic Householders and Nibbana The Anguttara Nikaya and 6 and an 6 identifies 19 householders who have attained perfection or, according to an alternate translation, attained to certainty and seen deathlessness, seen deathlessness with their own eyes Amitadaso, Amitam Sakikata. These householders are endowed samanagato with six things chahi dhamahi, unwavering faith in the Buddha unwavering faith in the Dhamma unwavering faith in the Sangha noble moral discipline Silina, noble knowledge or wisdom Nyanena, noble release Vimadiya, while some interpret this passage to indicate that these householders have attained arhatship, others interpret it to mean they have attained at least stream entry sotapanna, but not final release. The para-canonical Melinda Panha adds, f or a householder who has attained arahantship, either, that very day, he goes forth into homelessness or he attains final nibbana. That day is not able to pass without one or other of these events taking place, Milne. 7, 2, in the Tevijavakagata Sutta MN 71, MI.483 the Buddha is asked by the ascetic Vakagata is there any householder who, without abandoning the fetter of householdship, on the dissolution of the body has made an end to suffering? The Buddha replied, There is no householder who, without abandoning the fetter of householdship, on the dissolution of the body has made an end to suffering. Attaining the state of anagami or non-returner is portrayed in the early texts as the ideal goal for laity. Topic prominent householders in the Pali Canon The following are examples of individuals who are explicitly identified as a householder in multiple suttas. Anathapindika, is referenced for instance in an 1.14.249 as the householder Sudada, the foremost lay devotee. Sita, referenced for instance in an 1.14.250 as the foremost householder for explaining the teaching. In SN 17.23, Sita is one of two male lay disciples identified for emulation by the Buddha. Nikulapita and Nikulamada, referenced for instance in an 1.14.257 and an 1.14.266, respectively, as the best confident and the foremost for undivided pleasantness. Other individuals who are not explicitly identified in the suttas as householder, but who, by the aforementioned broader criteria, might be considered a householder include Gatikara was a potter in the time of the Kasapa Buddha. He was an anagami and his chief supporter, MN 81. Topic. Mahayana perspectives The Sigalavada Sutta has a parallel Chinese text. There are few differences between the Pali and Chinese versions. Further discussion of householder duties is found in the 14th chapter of the Sutra on Upasaka precepts. Dogen recommended that householders meditate at least five minutes each day. In the Zen tradition, Vimalakirti and Pang Yun were prominent householders, laypersons who achieved enlightenment. <laughs> Vajrayana perspectives The Vajrayana tradition has produced many prominent householders including Marpa Latsawa, Dramtan, the heart son of Atisa, and Pamamsambhava, to mention a few. The Nagpa Wiley, Snags Pa, feminine Nagma, Wiley, Snags Ma is an ordained tantric practitioner, sometimes a householder with certain vows dependent upon lama and lineage that make them the householder equivalent of a monk or nun. The path of a Nakpa is a rigorous discipline whereby one enjoys the sense fields as a part of one's practice. A practitioner utilizes the whole of the phenomenal world as one's path. 
Marrying, raising children, working jobs, leisure, art, play etc. are all means to realize the enlightened state or rigpa, non-dual awareness. As such, we can see the prominence of householders in the Vajrayana tradition. One can, however, be a householder without taking the vows of a nagpa. Simply holding the five precepts, bodhisattva vows and the tantric vows while practicing diligently can result in enlightenment. Topic. Contemporary Buddhist householder practices Below common contemporary lay Buddhist practices are summarized. Some of these practices, such as taking refuge and meditating, are common to all major schools. Other practices, such as taking the eight precepts or the bodhisattva vows, are not pan-Buddhist. Theravada practices For Theravada Buddhists, the following are practiced on a daily and weekly basis. Daily practice, prostrations to the triple gem, taking refuge in the triple gem, taking the five precepts, chanting other verses, meditating, giving and sharing Pali, Dana. Special day practices upasatha, practicing the eight precepts, studying Buddhist scriptures, visiting and supporting Buddhist monks, visiting and supporting Buddhist monasteries. Other practices, undertaking a pilgrimage. Topic. Mahayana practices Daily practices, prostrations to the triple gem, taking refuge in the triple gem, taking the five precepts, chanting sutras and the names of Buddhas, bodhisattvas, meditating, cultivating compassion and bodhicitta, recitation of mantras. Special day practices, upholding the eight precepts, listening to teachings, supporting sangha, repentance, performing offering ceremonies to sentient beings. Other practices, bodhisattva vows, going on a retreat. Topic. Vajrayana practices Daily practices, prostrations, refuge, cultivating compassion and bodhicitta, bodhisattva vows, tantric vows if applicable, meditation in the form of tantric sadhanas if applicable, purification techniques, recitation of mantras, special day practices, eight precepts, listening to teachings, offering ceremonies. Other practices, studying texts, receiving initiations and personal practice instructions from the teacher. Topic see also practices, topic notes Note 1, Gahapati is given as upper middle class, see the winds of change, Himanshu P. Ray, Delhi 1994, p. 20 topic References Bodhi, Bhikkhu, Trans, 2000. The Connected Discourses of the Buddha, a translation of the Samyutta Nikaya. Boston, Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0-86171-331-1. Bodhi, Bhikkhu, ed. 2005, In the Buddha's Words, An Anthology of Discourses from the Pali Canon. Somerville, M.A., Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0-86171-491-1. Buckley, Sarah, the 26th of September 2007. Who are Burma's monks? Retrieved the 26th of September 2007 from BBC News at http colon slash slash news dot bbc dot co dot uk slash two slash high slash asia dash pacific slash seven oh one four one seven three dot stm. Buddha dot Mahathera, AP 2002. Concise Pali English Dictionary. Delhi, Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 81-208-0605-0. Gombrich, Richard. 2002. Theravada Buddhism: A Social History from Ancient Benares to Modern Colombo. London: Routledge. ISBN 0-415-07585-8. Hinuber, Oscar Vaughn. 2000. A Handbook on Pali Literature. Berlin: De Gruyter. ISBN 3-11-016738-7. Ireland: John D. Trans. 1983. SN 2.14, Dhammaka Sutta, Dhammaka excerpt. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.2.14. Iroll.html. Kaplow, Philip. Zen, Merging of East and West. NY, Anchor Book. ISBN 0-385-26104-7.
Law, Bimala Churn Nirvana and Buddhist Layman in the Annals of the Bhandarkar Oriental Research Institute, Vol. 14, 1932–1933, pp. 80–86. Available online at http colon slash slash ccbs dot ntu dot edu dot tw slash full text slash jr dash eng slash lon dot htm. Mendes, NKG. The Questions of King Melinda, an Abridgment of the Milindapanha. Kandy, Buddhist Publication Society. ISBN 955-24-0067-8 Nyanamoli, Bhikkhu, Trans, and Bhikkhu Bodhi. Ed. The Middle Length Discourses of the Buddha, a translation of the Majjhima Nikaya. Boston, Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0 86171 072X. Narada Thera. 1995. Everyman's Ethics, Four Discourses of the Buddha. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash narada slash wheel 014.html, Narada Thera, trans, 1996. DN 31, Sigalavada Sutta, The Discourse to Sigala, The Layperson's Code of Discipline. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash dn slash dn dot thirty one dot o dot nara dot html. Jan two thousand three. A few good men, the Bodhisattva path according to the inquiry of UGRA Ugraparpersha. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-2607-8. Nyanaponika Thera and Helmuth Hecker, Bhikkhu Bodhi ed. 2003. Great Disciples of the Buddha, Their Lives, Their Works, Their Legacy. Somerville, M.A., Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0-86171-381-8. Pali Text Society PTS 1921-1925. The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary. Chipstead, Pali Text Society. Available online at http colon slash slash dsal dot uchicago dot edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash Robinson, Richard H. and Willard L. Johnson, 1970, 3rd ed., 1982. The Buddhist Religion, a Historical Introduction, Belmont, CA, Wadsworth Publishing. ISBN 0 to 534-01027X. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, Trans, 1996. Muni Sutta, The Sage, SN 1.12. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.1.12. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, Trans, 1997. Kagavasana Sutta, a rhinoceros horn, SN 1.3. Available online at https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh oh eight oh seven oh four two oh twenty fifty six slash http colon slash slash w dot access to insight dot org slash canon slash sutta slash kudika slash suttanapada slash snp one dash oh three dot html Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans two thousand one The Group of Fours ITI one hundred to one hundred twelve Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash k and slash et slash et dot four dot one oh oh dash one one two dot then dot html. A Tivataka 4.8 is available at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash k and slash et slash et dot four dot one oh oh dash one one two dot then dot html hash et dash one oh seven. Wallace, Allen. The Spectrum of Buddhist Practice in the West in Charles Prebish and Martin Bowman, eds, Westward Dharma, Buddhism Beyond Asia. Berkeley, University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-22625-9. Also available online at http colon slash slash www.alanwallace.org slash the percent 20 spectrum percent 20 of percent 20 Buddhist percent 20 practice.pdf.
Topic external links Gahapati and Gahatitha 2 PTS Pali English Dictionary PED entries related to Householder, Lay Buddhist Practice, The Shrine Room, Upasatha Day, Rains Residence, by Bhikkhu Kantapalo Wheel No. 206-207, 1982. The Eightfold Path for the Householder, by Jack Cornfield How Would Buddha Handle Your Kids, by John Bullitt The Buddhist Channel, April 14, 2005. A Seamless Process, Practice On and Off the Cushion, an IMS interview with Kamala Masters and Steve Armstrong. According to Buddha Chanting Service of Theravada Texts Majjhima Nikaya 54, to the Householder Podalia